Hi, I'm Ricky Frank. I'm an enamelist. I'm here today at Creative Side Jewelry Academy of Austin. So I've got a piece of fine silver that I have painted some transparent colors on. This is going to be the first layer in our blending. I've got three colors. I've got a pale green, I've got a very pale blue, and then a medium blue. And just so that you can see this happen, I'm going to fire this with a torch. There's really not a lot of difference between torch firing and kiln firing. We basically got a heat source that's going to heat the enamel. The main thing is that the flames of the torch will discolor the enamel. So we want to make sure we heat from below. Uh, but there's no magic thing about torch enameling in it and making it look really cool. It's the same enamel and it's a heat source. So I don't get all wigged out about how I'm firing it. So I've got a torch here. I've got a trivet here holding this piece off the screen because the back of this piece that I'm working on already has a little bit of enamel on that. And that's called counter enamel. And that helps to balance the stress from the front layers of enamel that are melting onto the silver. This enamel is slightly damp. I've just applied it. I used a piece of paper, a little bit of toilet paper to wick out the water, but I haven't dried it completely. If I was going to fire this in a kiln, it'd be ready to fire and the slow gradual heat of the kiln would evaporate the water and it'd be fine. But the heat of the torch is a little more aggressive and it's going to heat the piece really quickly. So I'm going to start from below here and just gradually heat the piece up. So gradually heating and it looks like it's getting a little more crystalline and I'm just gradually brushing it. I'm not too close and I'm using the cooler part of the flame. And now I'm going to come up from below. I'm going to pull back because I don't want that flame to be on the enamel. Because as I said earlier, the flame can discolor the enamel glass. And we're starting to see a sugar there. A little bit of texture. And it looks like the grains are starting to melt a little bit together. And I would call that the beginning of the orange peel stage. Orange peel really has six, seven different looks to it. It's not just one look. There we go, especially over on this side, I can see it right over here getting a little glossier, but there's a texture there. It's getting a little smoother, but there's still a texture. And it's getting smoother still. Now it would be okay to pull the heat away at this stage. When the enamel starts to cool, the colors will get a little deeper in color and more true to the colors. A lot of times the greens look brown when they're fired. So as that cools, we'll start to see the uh, actual color. When this cools, I'm going to come back and start to tint it a little bit using some darker colors. It's always easier to darken the colors than to lighten the colors. So we'll let this cool, take a look and see how it is, uh, and then we'll move on to the next layer. rolled up toilet paper as my wick and then I'm going to get my tripod set up and we're going to go ahead and fire this baby. 